Hey, welcome back to the garage. Today, I'm just gonna do a quick review on this wall heater. One of my subscribers asked me to do this video. I'm just gonna give you the specs on it, and uh, hopefully it helps to make up your mind whether you wanna get one of these or not for your own shop. All right, this heater itself runs on propane and can also run on natural gas. This is what I actually have it set up to is natural gas. It is capable of pushing 18,000 BTUs on propane, 20,000 BTUs of heat on natural gas. It's made by Procom. It's the infrared plaque ventless natural gas space heater. It is actually mounted to the wall. Doesn't require any venting. Does come with the low oxygen sensor. For my one car garage, this is actually overkill and i usually run this on a number two or three in the winter time if i'm out here and it's so far i've had this thing for about two three years almost three years and it's been a great little uh great little heater man and the way it works is it'll actually radiate heat off of here and the idea is it'll heat the objects in the garage which will then heat up the garage itself works really good I've had no issues with it. It's all manual. It's adjustable for the heat level that you want in a garage. And like I said, it has the oxygen uh, kill switch built into it, or uh, better known as ODS system, oxygen depletion sensor. And it's never kicked off because I'm in a garage or whatever, and obviously the garage doors and stuff isn't completely sealed, but it's a great little system. I'll show you how simple it is to run this thing. All right, if your gas is off, you're gonna turn your gas valve on. Up top, there's two buttons. All right, there's a button here, that's the igniter button, and this is your adjustment. You're gonna put it in pilot mode, matches the arrow there, and then you're able to push it down. You hold it down for a few seconds, push the ignition button down, and you see the pilot is actually on. You're gonna hold that pilot button for a few more seconds, and then that pilot should stay on, and there you go. Now, if you want heat, you're gonna turn the knob to whatever setting you want. So right now it's on one, it's actually summer here, so the thing is not turning on. So I put it on three. I don't know if you can see this, but she actually is on. Those things are gonna turn red hot. And it's, it's already kicking out a serious amount of heat. You can see it's starting to turn red now. And that's how it heats up the garage. And then it throws the heat out, heating up the garage and everything inside of it. Had to back up with the camera a little bit so it doesn't overheat the camera. But you can see how the, uh, the heat is turning red now. There's really no, you can't really see a flame, but it's putting out a ton of heat out of that thing. So once you get the temperature you want, you just adjust between one and five, and that'll automatically, let's say I want it to be on two, because it's too hot in here. It'll shut itself off by itself and it'll turn itself on and it's all manual. There's really no electricity being used here, just gas, which is great if you're trying to cut down on the uh, electric bill and stuff. So let's say you're done with it, you don't want to use it anymore, just turn it past pilot to off and it'll actually shut the pilot off and it'll shut the heater down. What I like to do just to be extra safe is I like to turn the gas valve off, but that's just me. You don't have to, but I do. I'm not out here a lot in the winter time, but I am out here sometimes. Something happens to one of my cars or the equipment that I use around the house or whatever. I'm out here fixing it. So when I did the bathroom that's on the other side of this, I had the walls torn down. And I figured, hey, this is a good time to put some kind of heating system in the garage. So this is what I found online to be the easiest to install. Didn't require any exhaust ducting or anything like that and it fit the bill for what I needed for, and it works great. I haven't had any issues. Like I said, three years I've been running this thing. Well, this would be the third season, third winter. This thing has been a great little heater, man. I'll put a link in the description for this brand. They're not that expensive. And what I like most about this thing is it doesn't require any electricity to operate. It's all manual and self-contained. This will run on propane, and it will run on natural gas. It's actually set up for it. Inside this cover here, there's actually tags that'll tell you which one to hook up to if it's propane and which one to hook up to if it's gas. I love it. It's been a great little heater. 
I hope this information is helpful to that subscriber. I'm sorry I forgot your name or your YouTube uh, name. I apologize, but I hope this is helpful. I hope it helps you out to decide whether or not you want to get one of these or something similar to it. There's a ton of different brands out there. There's different types of heating systems, but I think for the garage, your radiant type heater is what you're going to want in here. So it heats the area up, which in turn will heat up your garage or heats up the items in a garage. That's how radiant heat is supposed to work. All right, everybody, take care. I hope this is helpful. Catch you all later. And don't forget, God bless. And I wish you a very happy and beautiful day. Bye-bye.